two broke rednecks present. Gotta be a speed reader to read that title. Yep, somebody's gonna die in this. Hot standing around action. I've got a couple of pretty important things I'm going to tell you. Why don't only monkeys swing from things? I sure wouldn't want them to get into any trouble. And more than your parents would want anything to have what I'd like to talk Dad, about. the film has the hiccups. You've heard your mothers and fathers talking, or seen in the newspapers, about things that happen to other little boys and girls, haven't you? Like how some mysteriously your disappear after being in a Sid Davis again. film. I know you wouldn't want to do that to your folks, but sometimes boys and girls forget what their parents and teachers tell them about strangers. And there's always the wise guy who thinks he knows it all. For some reason, his name is Google. Remember the kids who get in trouble with strangers are those who forget what they've been told, and the ones who think they know more than their parents and teachers. I hear about the same thing. Why don't we all just see how some of the other boys and girls got mixed up with strangers so we can make sure... He's passing around the script. Remember the story about the little girl in the paper? Hello, little lady. All alone, aren't you? Wouldn't you like to I'll buy you some ice cream. I'm gonna get some ass. That doll has seen things. Terrible things. Well, nobody ever saw her again. It was in the headlines and on the radio. You probably heard it. The police believe she was kidnapped. They have no clues to the identity of stranger in the shabby car. But Sid Davis denies any involvement. And if you see any little That's the way it happened. And just look at how sad it made her mother and father. I had to tell them about it. All because she forgot what they had told her about strangers. Well, she's out of the house. Let's make another one. Now let's look at some of the places and some of the ways you might run into trouble. Let's see what we should do if anything happens. Here's one. Only Allie. Everybody to try to harm you with a lot of other kids around, wouldn't it? And what kind of hey, it's vaguely Clark Gable. That's right. A wise guy. Good fellas, the early years. Who thinks he knows everything. Maybe he won't get in any trouble, but he's sure taking a chance. I don't think it's worth it, do you? Now here's a place you always meet a lot of friends. Like the cowboy up on the screen. And the manager. That guy's wearing a Jack Nicholson Joker hat. Says hello to you or smiles? Well, that's all right. Most everybody likes kids, whether they're strangers or whether they know you. But watch this man. He followed the little girl into the theater. He isn't just an ordinary stranger who likes kids. He might make trouble. Watch. Hey, baby, want a date? Now he put his arm around her. Never let anybody do that except your own family. No stranger. Thank goodness this little girl is smart. She changed her seat. Just what her parents told her to do. That's exactly what you should do. The melody. So what'll she do now? That's right. Get the usher. If this should ever happen to but you... But Darren McGavin just wants thing, some love. The usher will make sure none of the kids is ever bothered by that man again. You see how it works? If you just remember what you've been told and don't be a wise guy, it's easy to stay out of trouble. For instance, in a place like this park. This little girl's mother told her never to take candy from strangers. Well, she forgot. But her brother didn't. He started to yell, 
and the man ran away. Mostly because he feared her brother's mutant power. That, kids, it's a good trick. Hello, Sally. I'm a friend of your mother's. She sent me to bring you home. Come on. Just get in my fur mobile. Now, Sally's mother told her never to ride home with a stranger. But Sally forgot, too. It was only because her was smart and took the light number that Sally ever got home. Hot We've male prostitute action. So far, haven't we? But these are the dumbest of all, the hitchhikers. They're the worst man in the world. The driver doesn't mean any harm, and you're just plain lucky if he doesn't. He may be a reckless driver or a speeder. Oh great, our driver's on speed. His car might have bad brakes. The hitchhiker doesn't know. He just goes right along anyway. Well, these kids aren't going to be so lucky. To the perv game! They ask for trouble and they're getting it. But thank goodness, one of the boys kept his head. He took the license number of the car. And another boy saw a squad car coming down the next street. I hate when Jehovah's Witnesses try to flag me down. Maybe the little girl can still be rescued. Calling all cars. Sid Davis is filming again. Just think if they hadn't been hitching rides, this needn't have happened at all. But that doesn't help much now, does it? Should have known something was wrong when he saw the child's size bondage gear. That lucky, two motorcycle policemen got the alarm. And there they go, after him. Hot perv chasing action. Just remember, whether you're a boy or a girl, that might be you in that car if you hitch rides. Help me, it smells like ass in here. Look at that, they got him. This little girl is very, Ooh, very somebody's lucky. gonna get a beating at the hands of the police. One boy hadn't been smart enough to take the license number. Isn't it silly to worry your parents and take chances like that? Well, gang, what have we learned from all this? Maybe Dodo here can show us. Dodo looks like he should be wearing a helmet and eating crayons. If Dodo meets a stranger in a lonely alley, he just goes right along with him. I scream at the movies? That explains why the floor is always sticky. Dodo's friends with anybody, stranger or not. Isn't that dumb? Sure, her parents tell her not to. There's another kid that needs a helmet and crayons. She thinks they don't know what they're talking about. Do you know what a dodo is? An extinct bird. A dodo is an extinct bird. I just that told you that. It isn't alive anymore. That's the way this dodo is going to be extinct. Taking all those chances. Special Ed, where's an ice cream count on his dodo head? A really smart kid. Well, it's about what I had to tell you. Just remember those two things. To do what your parents and teachers tell you, and to be a really smart kid, not a dumb dodo. If you do, it'll be pretty hard to get into any trouble. Well, kids, I'll be seeing you. You should have told them how thieves distracted you with a story to steal your ball. Sid Davis, he's killed more kids than cancer. Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.